Park Ranger Christine Dowell at West Point Lake. Summer is in full swing here at the lake, and we expect many visitors this summer. As the crowd increases, so does the potential for accidents and drownings. We want all our visitors to enjoy their stay, play it safe, and return home alive to the ones they love. Knowing some of the facts about drowning may help save your life or the life of someone you love. According to the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers 10-year public recreation fatality statistics, 88% were male, 81% were 18 and older, and 89% were not wearing a life jacket. 47% were associated with swimming in areas not designated for swimming, and 20% were associated with falls from docks, boats, and shoreline. Did you know that it only takes 20 seconds for a child to drown? For adults, it takes about 60 seconds to drown. But how can you tell if a person is drowning? Be watchful for the signs. The signs of a person drowning are head back, mouth open with no sound, and arms slapping the water in an up and down motion. A drowning victim cannot yell for help. There are things you can do to rescue a drowning victim. The proper ways to rescue someone in the water who is in distress is expressed in a simple phrase. Reach, throw, throw, but don't go. Reach. Reach something out to a person without endangering yourself. This can be an oar, pull, or even a branch. Throw. If the victim can be reached, throw them something that floats. This can be a life jacket, a throwable TFD, a cooler, or anything that can float that they can hold on to. Do not throw directly at the victim. Instead, throw upwind and let the object drift towards the victim. Throw. If the previous techniques aren't feasible and the victim is too far out, you can row out to the person in a kayak, canoe, or boat with the motor turned off to retrieve the victim. But don't go. Never attempt an in-water rescue unless you are trained to do so. Instead, call 911, go for help, or send someone else for help. Oftentimes, a double drowning occurs when someone enters the water to attempt a rescue. Hopefully, you won't have to put these techniques into practice. Fortunately, the phrase, reach, throw, row, don't go, is simple to remember in a moment of crisis. Wearing a life jacket is a great way to be prepared for the unexpected to happen. As you plan your day at the lake, think of things that you can do to be safe. Wearing a life jacket is a good place to start. Remember, life jackets worn, nobody more.